Victoria, you talked a little bit in one of your podcasts about using peripheral vision to help active focus. Uh, one guy noticed most improvement when we started in noticing peripheral vision. Peripheral vision, oh, another big topic. Peripheral vision makes a huge difference somehow. What happens in close-up, we only use uh, central focus, so we only use about 5% of our visual field. When you focus on the screen, you forget about the peripheral. It's, I had a bunch of stuff on peripheral vision before, and I tried to eliminate some of it because the more steps and levels are in there, the more people drop off because it's just like, oh God, another thing. It's super helpful in a lot of cases, just as we're sitting here to go, how big is my visual field? Right? Like I'm still looking at the lens, I'm still looking at the screen, but now I'm like, my awareness is, I can see my hands right? like at almost 180 degrees. Doing that for when you're outside on a walk, like right? just taking a mental step back and going, hey, there's a lot of stuff here that I can see tends to be incredibly helpful, especially an awareness of it without moving your eyes, of just kind of zooming out. If you do martial arts or, or like fighting sports, they talk about that sometimes, like don't over-focus on one thing because then you can't see anything else that's going on. Like not being focused on one spot instead of just being aware of the whole visual field can be very helpful. I'm a big fan of it. I do it lots of times, even with close-up. Part of my close-up habit is I'm looking at my screen, sometimes I'm reminding myself, hey, like I can see here, I can see here. Helps with active focus, can improve active focus, can improve your eyesight over time in general, especially when you use the distance vision. Gets tricky because it doesn't work well with glasses. And now you bring it up with glasses and it becomes counterproductive when people become excessively aware of the box around their clear vision. Right? Like, so you kind of, kind of on contact lenses for this because it can be literally just feel disturbing and distracting and make you more anxious when you make your visual cortex be aware of, hey, I can't see the tiger jumping out of the bush to eat me because I don't have peripheral vision because I have these things in front of my eyes, which is one of the reasons I recommend frames with or glasses with no frames, right? Or light frames or big frames, something that doesn't emphasize this. I only have this much peripheral vision. So when that comes up, then people are like, okay, so I need contacts but that's not convenient for my lifestyle or my eyes are too dry. And it becomes this whole topic where I'm like, all right, I'm not going to focus on peripheral, peripheral vision because of that. It is a great thing though. The more you can in integrate it in your life, the better. Meow, 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 meow.